Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you are interested in courses or books, or you have ideas on how to improve these content, please check out the link in the description box. In this video, we will take a look at how to create binned scatter plot in Stata. So the first thing is to ensure that the command is installed. We can do so by this. And then let's take a look at the description of this command. So bin scatter, bin scatter plots provide a non-parametric way of visualizing the relationship between two variables. With a large number of observations, the scatter plot that plots every data point would become too crowded to interpret visually. And as bin scatter groups the x-axis variables into equal sized bins and computes the mean of the x-axis and y-axis within each bin and then creates a scatter plot of these data points. The result is a non-parametric visualization of the conditional expectation function. So what bin scatter plot basically does is when we have large data sets and the scatter plots become too crowded, it basically creates bins, takes means within those bins, and then creates a scatter plot also of those means. And we can actually, uh, in the options, we can assign the uh, number of bins or the size of the bins. Uh, we can also plot medians and a bunch of other controls that we have in the options. So first, let's take a look at the usual scatter plot that we create using the scatter function. So I'm using data from uh, on different socioeconomic variables from different United States county. So here uh, on the y-axis, I have plotted average future family income. On the x-axis, we have a single parent share in the year 2000. And because we have a large number of observations for, um, for many US counties, we can see that the scatter plot is too crowded and it's not easy to interpret the relationship between these two variables. So what we can do is we can use a bint scatter plot. So let's do a basic bint scatter plot. So the command is bin scatter followed by whatever variables will go into our y-axis. So I'm using the average future family income at the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile. And then on the x-axis, we have single parent share. Um, I'm also using survey weights. Bin scatter also allows us to use a line of best fit. In this case, I'm not using any line of best fit, so line is none. And then the x title, y title, and the legend. So let's create this same scatter plot using bin scatter. And now we can see that this is much more clear compared to the previous one. And we can see the relationship that the slope is negative of future family income with respect to single parent share. Now let's see how we can also add a line of best fit. In this case, I'll be using a quadratic fit. So we just need to add this little bit of code here, line type Q fit. And what this does is now we have this graph. So you can take a look at the documentation and there are many other things that we can customize using this uh, command bin scatter. But this is just a basic way to see how we can create bin scatter plots in Stata. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.